Hello everyone, it's Ryan from FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. As you can see, you're wondering where we are. Take a look around. Where are we? All these trophies. We're at the 36th Olympiad in Poland. We've made the trip over from Canada, coming to look at breeders, birds. Uh, I'm going to switch this camera around. We're going to go slow. If you can hear me, let me know. I'm trying to switch it. There we are. If you want to buy trophies, you can get trophies here. And we're going to keep walking along. There's about six, six halls. Product, drinkers. Look at those glass drinkers up there. Literally anything you want to purchase, you can. Here's the booth for Versalaga. They've got all their feeds on display. You can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Look at their display here. Richard, what are you thinking of this so far? Unbelievable. It is. Unbelievable. Let's keep moving along. We have six pavilions here. Six pavilions. And again, if you're into more trophies, you can get trophies. You can look at pigeons, handle pigeons, buy pigeons. We're going to do more lives as the week goes on, but just uh, all kinds of stuff. Look at these Widowhood baskets. Look how nice they are. Look at the detail in these. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Look at that. Double ducker, outstanding. It's furniture, actually. Yeah. Again, all kinds of things. Look at the products. Look at some pigeons here they got for sale. Yeah. If you can't afford to buy a pigeon, maybe you want a glass one. To give you guys roughly around a $20 piece right here, $25. Easy maintenance. Easy maintenance. The only pigeon you don't have to feed. Feeders. Uh, guys that like the Jan Arden. those Arden Pigeons, let me know. We are here. Come back up. I'm hoping it's not too wiggly. Here we are, Feathers Elite at the Olympiad in Poland. Thanks for joining us. Look at Benzing. You can look at clocks, pads, you name it. Benzing held nothing back. Продолжение следует... 
Take a calendar. Look at the beautiful calendar, eh? Yeah. We should roll. We should roll one up. Roll one up, bud. Let's roll three up. Fantastic stuff here. And this, this it opens today, but it's it's going to be packed, packed tomorrow. Again, you can buy drinkers, you can buy feeders. It's just hall after hall. Outstanding. I mean. And all the vendors, they have their names on the top. Hey, if you're into whites, whites, grizzles, you name it. Again. Again, maybe you want to uh, purchase a clock or shot glasses, mugs. We've got it all here. I mean, literally anything you want. There's, there's the loft manager, Richard, we've got him out. We've got our special loft manager now taking care of the birds. Look at the pads they sell, benzing. Here's the other side of the benzing. Are you a benzing user? Am I a benzing user? I've never used benzing, no. We yeah, one we used, to have, we used to have the old... A benzing pen? We had the old mechanical benzing club. We're live on Facebook right now. Yeah. Now you're the owner of Benzing. Right? No, no, oh, just a developer. Just a developer. Yeah, we had many developers. Good, good clock. Yeah. You do a lot of the one lap races now. Yeah, and also a big cloud company. Huh? We have a big cloud with many applications. Yeah, and that's the pad now. That's the antennas. The antennas. Uh, that's the birds go over. Yeah. So big, eh? How many how many birds can you clock? Race. Will yeah. it clock it? Up to how many? Do, do they miss the... No, no, no like I'm saying, can, if, if, let me ask you. you. Guys, I'm asking a question. Hey, Ryan, bring one of those calendars, please, okay? We'll see if I can bring you a calendar. We're live here on Facebook at the 36th. With the owner of Ben's. <laughs> with the developer. 36th Olympia. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to get somebody from so, marketing. So, here we are, the 36th Olympiad. Poland, um, we're looking at pads. Just take a look at these pads here, guys. For people looking, the kind of stuff they have. I don't know if you can see it on here. 
Look at my hand, look at the pod, huge pods. Uh, I'm gonna ask how they work to see if you put like 20 birds on the pod, if the pod will register. These work really good for guys who send over 100 birds, 100 birds. 120 birds. 120 birds a week. If you can clock, if you clock about 100 a second. The secret is though, if you ship 120, right. you gotta get them on the drop to do that. Well, this is it. <laughs> guys that sell, send that birdage, they usually get them in big drops. Know, man. Hey, you're, you're those pods, yes. if the birds, they're all on the pod, will the pod work? Or no. Definitely. Come on, really? Yeah, so, would you like to see it? How many birds per second? You know, like, no. we use the unicorn or whatever. Throw the chips on, yeah. it'll work. Sure, you're the owner of Benzing. Yeah, I'm the agent of Benzing, yeah. He's a, so we're doing a Facebook, we're on Facebook Live. So okay. I, I always have people ask me stuff. So these, so these pads here that you recommend for one loft racing, they are in the biggest one loft races in the world already. All right. So that means uh, we have uh, I, <laughs> we have uh, lofts like the Victoria Falls race, the Million Dollar race in South Africa, Pattaya race, Algarve Golden race. All the big names are uh, using this right are here. Are using this antennas because of the speed of the antennas. Okay, so so, so I'm a flyer in some of these races. Yeah, sure. So you're telling me that pad won't miss pigeons? This and this are double field antennas. That double field antennas, guys. Yeah. So if you're wondering in Victoria, are you in uh, the races, any races in the States? Sure. With these? Hoosier well? Classic, oh. one million dollar race. So guys, if you're at the Hoosier and you're wondering if the birds are going to get missed, this man is guaranteeing they won't on these pods. Yeah, so right. how many birds can cross that pod at the same time? 36 pigeons per second. There's no joke. Yeah. Right. Wow. 36 birds per second on that pod. Yes. And how many pods can you hook up? As many as you want? 64. You can hook up 64 of those pods, guys. That means you shouldn't be missing birds. Yes. Yeah, so is this all weather, too? Just uh, like dampness, if it's out on the board and it's damp, can weather? You, in the rain? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, rain. Water is always a killer for electronic. Right. Yeah. But you have to be careful that when the pad is, it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So if the water can go away, of course, it will be working. But if the water comes up to the electronic, of course, it will not work. So put it inside, that's so the best solution. For one lock race, what does it cost for this to get, it, get one of these? Depends on the market, on the tax, on the import and everything. But it starts around 280 euros for the small ones and goes up to 350 okay. for the very big okay, double so, And then also, if you want us. Yeah. Run a one loft race. What's the whole to get one pad and the clocking software, everything? What's the cost? It's diff difficult to say because one loft race works a little bit different as we have a software in the background. That means you have a software where you manage the pigeons, where you manage the races and trainings, and the antennas are just the reading part. So it's not necessary that you have a clock for clocking the pigeons, the software will do all the management. So I, it I'd always depends would, on the I would size of the race. How, how, how close yeah. would this antenna have to be to the motherboard? Like, like yeah, uh, a distance. Can the cable be 200 feet? Will it work? Like so. So let let's say the loft's 150 feet long. Yes. Right. See, we had a we had a one we run a one loft race where we were using the Taurus. Okay. And we had 10 little pads. Okay. With the cords extended out hundreds of feet. Missing birds. Yeah, sure. I had to put speed bumps in yeah. to slow the birds down, and yeah. it would still miss. Yeah. So you're saying this clock doesn't miss? No. This clock doesn't miss, guys. If you're having a one lap race, I don't care where you are in the world, you want to use this clock. Sure. He, he, he says it. <laughs> <laughs> no. The biggest races in the world are using it, so I know it has to be good. Yes. So if you guys watch one lap race live, that's our website. You can see. Roughly more than 100 one love races in Europe and states were using this system. And as well in China, we have more than 100. So in total, we have 200 one love races. And you can see all our references now, online as well. There's a gentleman that's watching us right now. He yeah. the Chavez Classic. Uh, Tony, he does a great job. I don't know. So each, uh, each the, big, the big antenna, he's asking right up there, the big guy. Yeah. This one here is how much in euros? I, I don't know exactly, but 350 roughly. 350 yeah. euros, Tony, get you that pad. 
You can hook up up to how many of these pads can you hook 64. up? 64. You can hook up 64 pads. You can make a whole landing board out of a pad. Come on. Outstanding. Look, this guy. I know this guy. I've seen hey, him around. Hey, hey. He's, He's back from, again. He's from the Algarve Great Derby. Yes. He knows everything about this antenna. Is this, is and this let a good clock? How many pigeons you lose with this antenna? Miss Zero. Miss Zero. It's yes. the best product you have in the market. It's the best so you see some of the pigeons. When all the pigeons come in together, all the pigeons come inside, you're miss one. So you miss one. So you love so if you love fly your birds, you love fly, let's say five hundred birds. Yes, right? You will never have and problems. You call them in. You won't yes. miss. And so you let out five hundred this is a benefit for fields. You'll see 500 came in. Yes. Leave these other ones, like the, the, the Taurus one. You let out 500 birds for a loft, like 200 birds, 100 birds. Call them in, have them ready to come yeah, in, I, and they well, miss. Well, let's, uh, let's be reasonable. Uh, you have a small entry for all the pieces coming inside. Yeah. Uh, with other blocks, it should be the same. It should not be a big hole when all the pieces dive inside. Right. In a normal situation, other clock, Cannot register at the full time. But this one won't miss. And this one, yes, will do. This will All do. the pigeons who walk on the antenna, they will be they will be registered. No clock. Without no problems. You see, guys, you're hearing it, right? This is Benzing right here. The guy that's been yeah. around at all the one lap races. You see him, man. You travel everywhere. Yes, I try. But he's, <laughs> he's traveling more. He's traveling more. Yeah. A lot more. So you got the price. Each antenna, like the big ones are around 360. What is the smaller one? If you want software for your one-lock race, you should have Benz. They are perfect and they have the best on the market. Very good. Don't Thanks. think about twice. No, I. That's why I'm showing it. I want I to show the best. You. You buy another one, you will come faster to Benz. I, I, you know what? I, I, I bought. The, I bought a Taurus. I wish I would have had the Benz, but we couldn't. Why well, you can wish? You can buy one. No I know, problem. but I. Get, I gotta buy another one now. Okay. Oh. Can we trade in our yeah. old Hey, will you take old claws? <laughs> Here we are, 36th Olympia in Poland. You can trade in your Taurus too. That's much easier. See, look, if you give them, if you give Benzing your Taurus clocks, they'll give you a discount and they'll help you break the Taurus clock or any clock you use. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, we're having fun here. I want to thank you, eh? Yeah, welcome. Man, that is nice. Nice, nice to see you. Nice. you. Okay. Here we are. So we're moving on. 36 birds each second. Yes, Tony, that is correct. This clock doesn't miss. I would recommend it. I mean, you can see they're passionate about what they're doing. Look at the booth. Outstanding. So, Tony, I would definitely, I don't know what clock you're running, but I would try this one out here. It looks like it works uh, very well. All the big races in the world are using it. Here we are again, 36th. Olympia or Poland. Anything you want to see here. Hey. We're just moving on. What an awesome show. That's right. What awesome can this be? I mean, and, and again, like I say, everywhere you look, there's pigeon men, there's books. More pigeon men. It closes at 6 p.m. Every single hall you see down here is full of pigeons. The Olympiads every two years. Guys are starting to close up, so I'm going to probably cut this off. But they're going to put their booths up. Whatever you want. Pigeons, all different prices. Right here, some fantastic pigeons. Guys are putting everything away for the night. Closes, like I say, at 6 p.m. Tomorrow we're gonna do some more lives. But it, maybe it's cool. Here, give me the curtain. Just walk along here. Anything you want to see? Too bad they're putting it away, but I mean, pigeon after pigeon after pigeon. The pedigrees are all on display. Any family, any types of birds you're looking for. Fantastic pigeons right here. Went through the birds outstanding. They're closing up for today. Hello. The 
again, like I say, just wall after wall, pigeons, all for sale. Pick what you like, look at your pedigrees. Hey, if you want to buy some birds here, let me know. We can be your fingers, what you're looking for, and we do the importing, Brothers Leaf Quarantine. So literally, see the breeder's name, everything's on display. Look, he's got the lights on, he's put the lights on for you. Top class here. Good pigeon. Good pigeons. Good long distance pigeons. Hey, someone looking for long distance, you want me to go through the pedigrees again? Like I say, guys, it's just wall to wall pigeon stuff. Thank you, eh? More pigeons left. They're closing down for the night. We've got you with us. We've got eight people watching, so that's great. Two out of six. Here's the GPS pigeon auctions. They're giving books away. If, you, if you're here, you can get a book. Hey, yep. We're doing a thing here on uh, Facebook Live. Facebook yeah. Live. Can I say hello to Gary? Yeah. Gary Nelson. Hey, Gary Model Parker, GPIA. 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 Yeah. <laughs> See, the guys at GPS, they're very excited. <laughs> But the booths are out of this world. Brian, Yo, the books yeah, look at the books they're giving away. Look at these catalogs. Isn't that doing, something? Doing a great job. Some outstanding pigeons. Look at, the, look, at the yeah, look at this here from GPS. Look at yeah. Isn't that something? Outstanding. I sold your black pigeon already. You sold it, eh? What a pigeon. That was a nice one. I was just going to ask you. I wanted you to show it on thing, but it's gone now. That's okay. He's going to England. Going to England. See, guys, you can come here. You can buy. This is not just looking at pigeons. You can purchase. Pigeon, pigeon world here. If you're looking for the Leo Herman's birds right here. Very nice pigeons. Everything here is you can purchase. You see how they have the pedigrees. I mean, I've never been to anything pigeon like this. This was definitely worth it. See, they got the boxes, birds, pedigrees, trophies. Anything you're looking, they got prices here, as you can see. LK Corral, thanks for tuning in. 36th uh, Olympiad, here we are in Poland, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions and our quarantine services. We are, we are uh, just gonna finish this up here in a minute. Tomorrow we're gonna do some more live feeds. We're here all the way till Monday. This is Pavilion 2 out of 6. We have another four pavilions to go through. Yeah, I mean, it's just nonstop pigeon, pigeon, pigeon here. And I mean quality of pigeons, you can pick through, you can look at pedigrees, and you know what? You can even do some some like bargaining, right? You can you can ask uh, hey guys you look wanna, at here. You wanna buy dishes with pigeons. Listen, on the it, it, pigeon men, pigeon men, you wanna get your wife something for and Christmas. keep for Christmas. Take a look at this. Do you even have turkey dinner? If your birds will come home, those are that's probably for cooking pigeon in. Outstanding. Look at the nice beer mugs there, right? Thanks everybody for tuning in, it's great. Just those things. Oh, this was the best guy right here. Oh, he covered it up. If you're looking for eye loops, tomorrow we're gonna come here. This guy's got the best eye sign loops. I mean, it's not stop here, let's uh, We're rolling on. Like I say, I shouldn't even be showing this. It's, it's, it's done now, but well, Pioneer. Go back there. Hey, I don't hit the washroom.
So we're going to let this go. We're going to wrap it up. Tomorrow it's going to be packed. It's going to be about 50,000 people here. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you have any questions or you want us to look up birds for you or anything, hey, we're here for you. Let me know. Ryan Feathers Elite, sorry about the camera. Um, and hey, don't forget, closing this weekend is our Mark Codwell auction. Uh, the best sprint pigeon man around. Uh, he's a legend. Look at the results. Don't miss. Jesse Saguna, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, this, this is uh, outstanding here, beyond belief. But go check out the Mark Codwell birds. They're on auction right now, closing up. Uh, last Evers, just take a look. Take a look at all. We got our, tomorrow, Saturdays, our loft pick, our, our loft manager picks. So we will be picking. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But we're wrapping up here. We're gonna go have some dinner. Maybe we'll do a live from dinner, some real Polish food. Uh, so far, it's been great here. It's cold, minus four. So it's good this is all inside. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.